The black cutworm is a common lepidopterous or caterpillar pest of grasses and small grain crops around the world. In turf grass, black cutworm larvae hide during the day in burrows located in the soil and thatch. The larvae feed mainly at night by eating grass blades next to their burrows. On shortcut turf of golf course greens and tees, cutworm feeding produces sunken areas often called pock marks. These can look like ball marks. These pock marks can interfere with ball roll so it doesn't take too many cutworms on a green before controls are needed. Black cutworm larvae can range from a pale tan brown to nearly black green in color, but their integument almost always has what is called a cobblestone like surface which can be seen with a 15 power hand lens. Black cutworms have complete life cycles with egg, larval, pupal and adult stages. The larvae go through 5 to 6 instars in 30 to 50 days depending on the temperature. Black cutworms are actually tropical insects that cannot survive freezing. In North America, black cutworms only survive year-round in Mexico and the Gulf states where they commonly undergo four to six generations. In the transition zones, adults fly from the south in the spring and three to four generations may occur. Further north, only two to three generations of black cutworms can occur before freezing temperatures kill off any remaining cutworms. In turf, black cutworm females attach single eggs to the tips of grass blades. These eggs are usually removed from greens and teas during mowing. So where do the cutworms on greens and teas come from? Fourth, fifth, and sixth instar cutworm larvae are very mobile and they appear to make new burrows every few days. Therefore, when spraying golf greens and teas for cutworms, it is a good practice to also treat one to two boom wits around the greens and teas to eliminate any cutworm larvae that could crawl onto the greens or teas over the next few weeks. Black cutworm larvae often establish burrows in aerification holes and it can be difficult to distinguish between damage from the aerification process or cutworm. Black cutworm larvae are easily detected using a detergent solution. Use two tablespoons of Joy or Dawn Ultra or Ivory dishwashing detergent in two gallons of water. Spread the solution over a one square yard area. If cutworms are present, they will wiggle out of their burrows in only a few minutes. Control of cutworm larvae is easily achieved by using one of several insecticides registered for this purpose. If the label allows, spray the turf but do not irrigate until the spray has dried. This will ensure that the insecticide will be ingested when the caterpillars eat the grass blades. Commercial bacterial and fungal diseases do not appear to be overly successful for control of black cutworms, but insect parasitic nematodes are very effective. 